right. Hey, hey, everybody. RV enthusiasts here. Nice seeing you again. Today, we're taking the Magicycle Deer on a uh, throttle-only ride. This is the official throttle-only ride to see how far it'll go on a fresh battery that has not been ridden. And uh, we're expecting in the 20-mile range, 20 to 25. It's a nice day. And I think, I think uh, we're right around 60 degrees, 57 degrees, and it's going to warm up. I may, at the end of the ride, have this uh, quilted jacket off. Uh, and this should take us an hour and a half or so. Anyway, we are going to uh, run, the, run the video at the end on the Relive app and see how far we went. We'll use that as our official um, designation of how far it'll go. And let's get going. All right, relives on. Everything's set. Uh, I think the height is good. Um, according to the bike, it's got 49.5 on the trip. This has done 31. Let's see. This bike, I, I'm sure it was downhill, has done 30.6 miles an hour. All right, so also, I'm going to turn the, uh, let's go. I'm going to turn off and on I'm going to turn off and on the 3D camera because I'm going to turn off and on the 3D camera because I don't need 3D the whole way. I'm wondering what this is on my lawn here. Oh, True Green. Okay, well, they didn't ask if they could put that on there, but they did. Okay, so again, we are just riding. We're not going to pedal. I'm so tempted to pedal because I've been pedaling lately, and uh, it's very tempting to do. But... Yeah, we got to get some of these promised videos out. So some of the promised videos are, uh, you know, I've got to take these on a throttle only ride to see how far they go uh, just on throttle. And uh, today's our nicest day. Tomorrow's even going to be nicer. And then the next day is even going to be nicer. Yeah. So up until Saturday, this is supposed to be a nice week. So I'm, uh, I'm excited here. I'm very excited here, guys. All right. So you can still see we got snow on the mountains out there. Like I said, it's a little bit cold, uh, right around the 60-ish, 60-ish, but it will improve as we go along. I'm gonna turn this camera off now. And now we're just gonna ride this route, making sure everything's off, yeah. Now we're just gonna ride with a uh, chest cam on. Uh, this is probably an hour and a half ride, if not longer. And uh, maybe an hour, hour and 10, hour and a half. But I will not show you the whole ride because uh, you'll be disinterested at the end. And uh, I, I was thinking about bringing two batteries because the Ocelot Pro fit on this. And uh, the Ocelot Pro battery. And uh, I, I thought, well, I would just go out and go further and then come back uh, when I ran out of battery. But we got to keep it a little bit uh, consistent with how far this battery will go on similar terrain. And the route I was thinking of going was um, 
up into kind of like the Vernonia Trail, which has a, a quite steep elevation. And I think this battery would make it up to the elevation, but uh, it wouldn't be fair uh, for it. Uh, and, and I think it would do a little bit less that way. But we'll take that ride this summer too. All right. And just so you guys know, um, this is a 750 watt soft tail bike. Uh, retails for, I think, about $26.99. Uh, typically a couple of hundred bucks off, two or three hundred bucks off. And uh, it's a nice bike. It's a very nice bike. I've ridden it several times. Uh, even though I got it, I think I got it somewhere around mid-December, and uh, we couldn't display it, couldn't talk about it until sometime in, I think, 1st of February. So, uh, so by that time in Portland, it's cold. Yeah, by that time in Portland, it's very cold. So, uh, we didn't get much riding on it. But today we've got uh, we've got roughly 50 miles on it already, and now we're going to take it for uh, a third more probably. No, probably 50 percent more on this ride. Anyway, it's nice because when you see four or five straight days, it's gonna it's it's gonna get me out of that seasonal depression. I know you all go through it. Seasonal depression is when it's. The weather's too bad to really get out and do anything, and you're not getting much uh, much of that sunshine to get you motivated to do anything. So, we've had a couple of fair days. Not fantastic, but fair. And what that has allowed me to do is um, get my lawn in a little bit more in order, get some uh, weeds pulled, some plants trimmed up. So I'm letting cruise control work its magic a little bit because I don't want to, uh, I don't want to have to concentrate on it and I just know I want to do better than uh, 22 miles an hour, somewhere in the 20 to 25 mile an hour, 20, whatever the max is on this, which you just saw was 27. I don't know if you guys saw it but I'm trying to get it set at around 20 something until we get to our next stop. Right about there. Yeah, so you go, well, gosh, you're not pedaling. It, I'm, I'm telling you guys, it's uh, tough to not pedal at all. Uh, I want to pedal, um, even though on this bike at my top speeds, I'm more ghost pedaling, but it at least is getting something in and, and getting those knees lubricated and uh, allows me to uh, to feel like I've done something. <laughs> this route, I am balancing, I am concentrating, and uh, it, 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 it's what it is, man. But man, the sun is doing wonders. It does feel good. Uh, like I said, it's a little chilly, but it's good. Yeah, tomorrow uh, I have another bike that's already ready. I prepped it. It's ready to go. Um, so that video will probably come out a couple of days after this one. I think this video comes out on Thursday or Friday morning. Um, this is Tuesday, so I'll just show you how far, how close I am to putting it out. So we're doing a ride today. It'll go out Thursday morning or most likely Friday morning. And then the next video will go out uh, on Monday. So the ride tomorrow will go out on Monday. Uh, right now, the weather's not good enough for me to do uh, three videos a week because I'll run out of content because when it, when it gets real cold and rains, I won't be doing much. Uh, a couple of things real quick. 
Uh, and then I have to shut up or else I, I, I won't, uh, I, you know, you guys will have an hour and a half ride of conversation. <laughs> Another thing, I've got a bike. Uh, it was shipped today. And uh, we'll, we'll review that one. When it gets here, we'll do, a, uh, we'll do an unboxing, assembly, component pictures, uh, components. And we will, we will do that video and show you what's going on there. Then we'll do, of course, the same kind of thing, a distance ride to see how far it goes. Now, that bike is, is uh, not a 20 amp hour bike. Uh, it's, not a, uh, it's not a distance bike, but we should get 20 miles out of it. And uh, we'll see how it goes. I, I'm pretty excited about it. Been in communication with them uh, for maybe two or three weeks and uh, they shipped it today, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I've seen the name before, um, but I, I don't know much about it. Now, there's a couple more that's happening, a couple more things happening. Uh, <laughs> seems every time I get ready to ride, that, uh, like every time I get ready to ride, this company that I'm dealing with, uh, that. I really like talking to the lady. She's very nice, very pleasant, and uh, I'm 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 very excited about it. She told me that the bike they were going to ship me is out of stock. <laughs> I get it. I, I, I honestly get it. I I I figured as much. I I've looked at their site. I knew that was going to happen. And uh, sure enough, so she said, would you like another one? So I gave her some hints. Yeah, this would be okay, but I'd really like to wait if it's going to be restocked for that particular bike. And that should be like um, June, June-ish. So if she says, yeah, that bike will be here in June, great. If she says, no, it won't, then... Uh, then I'll wait till, uh, or then I'll get the bike that I requested uh, that is more of a bike like this, kind of. So that'll be great too. So either way, uh, we're still in communication uh, and it, it may be a bigger bike versus a smaller bike. Now, there's one other, and that one is, uh, that one's almost ready to ship as well. I'm guessing mid-May, mid-June. Um, and I'm very excited about that bike, and uh, it's very cool. It is very, very cool. Um, <laughs> that bike is amazing, so I'm pretty, pretty stoked about it. Anyway, uh, back to this ride. Those are the only bikes I got coming is one, two, possibly three more in the next few months. I'm not actively pursuing um, bikes. I'm not, I'm not out there, you know, uh, sending out letters and sending out information hey can I can I review your bike uh, because I'm backlogged enough on the big long rides that uh, I just think it's it, it becomes too much so when I get caught up I'll, I'll start sending them out again and I may not get any more who knows um, that's okay because then I'll just be riding like some of my fellow friends do and uh, that's not a bad thing that is not a bad thing, guys. Uh, as you can tell, look look here. You can see our, our crops are coming in. And, uh, yeah, things are happening here. Things are happening here. Uh, let's say I told, talked to you about d the depression. I don't have real significant depression. But uh, a, a little bit as time goes on. Kind of teasing with them. So as time goes on a little bit, uh, a, a depression with, with winter, uh, and, and you get that here in Oregon, I get it anyway, because it's a very, very long, wet winter. And this winter wasn't so bad because many of the bike manufacturers still sent me bikes to review, which allowed me to do uh, the five minute, six minute on nice days, plus all the unboxing stuff. And it just worked out really well for me. And now my payback is to them is to get rides in on their bikes. And I, I will do that. I, uh, a lot of them just put pure 
faith in you. And uh, some don't, some make you do a bunch of stuff, but in any case, uh, on all of them, they, they are gonna get it. I'm gonna give them uh, the rides that I, I told them I would. And uh, this being one of the first ones, I know everyone, well, you know, it's a magic cycle deer, it's been out and blah, 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 and you've, you've, you've sat on it, you've rode it, you reviewed it. And uh, this one's getting a lot of looks right now from a lot of people, and it truly is. It really is. Uh, and, and that's not a bad thing. It's a great thing for MagiCycle. It's a great thing for me. It's a great thing for many of the channels. The reason uh, I, I rode this one is this is one I got in uh, December, mid-December. Now, there's a few others that I've gotten uh, that are uh, maybe a little older. I'll give you an example. The V-Volt. You guys... You guys know I got the V-Volt uh, back in right around Thanksgiving, either just before or just after Thanksgiving. Well, I did a review on it, and uh, that review I thought went really well. And then I just released a video this morning uh, where uh, one of my friend's son, who lives in California, is looking for a new bike, and he's looking for a commuter bike. Well, that commuter bike that he chose of my listings, of all, everything I had, he rode several, was the V-Volt. He really likes the V-Volt. So he's coming back in May, and uh, I think him and I will go over to V-Volt, or uh, he'll order it there, and because he's here, you know, maybe they'll, maybe they'll reduce shipping for him or something, I don't know, uh, but that's a good thing, and that was one of the things they said, man, you got so many choices for us to look at that it's better than going to a bike shop where they have two brands or three brands. So that's another unique thing that I think that YouTubers, if they're into it, uh, can do for, for you know their communities, like my community, right? My community is my subscribers and my viewers and people that are local. You know, if they want to come look at these bikes, set up a time with me. Uh, I've set up times with people they haven't shown. I've set up times with people that have shown and have bought bikes. Not my bikes, but, uh, you know, like motorcycles and whatever. Um, so for me, I, I don't mind doing that now. Just so you know, if you watch this video and you say, oh, I'm going to go, I'm going to call them up. What I won't let you do is ride the bike. You can look at it, you can sit on it, you can feel it, you can touch it, you can, you can feel all the ins and outs of the bike. Uh, you can watch me ride it, but you probably won't get to ride it because uh, if something happens to you and you fall, what happens to me? I get sued. And that's just the society we're in. So I honestly cannot let that happen. So uh, I have gotten texts and emails from people, hey, can I come ride your bike? So-and-so sent me a, a, a information about your bikes. Can I come ride it? Uh, the answer is no. But you're welcome to come look at it. You're welcome to come test it out. Do everything but ride it. And they'll say, well, that doesn't help me. Well, it does, because you, you, you physically get to see the size of the bike. You physically get to see the components of the bike. You get to see that it's not... Uh, fake news <laughs> these are real bikes from real manufacturers that are uh, that, that do a very nice job and uh, it's not uh, it's not a lesser quality than you would get if you bought a pedal electric or um, uh, another brand say specialized or whatever anything like that I, those are the only two brands I can think of as I'm riding I know there's more but that's just what I'm thinking of. Anyway, we're doing here. We're doing 27, 28.2, 28.5, 29 29.2. Now we're going back uphill a little bit. But this bike is doing all of 27 and a half, 28 miles an hour the whole way. And uh, it says 68%. So this has some battery uh, slack going on. And, and that's okay. I know it does that. It's, it's perfectly okay that the battery slump, I'll call it slump, uh, that it slumps as you ride. 
and uh, there is more juice to it but once it drops to a certain level it stops and then it will not continue on so you have to let it rest about five minutes and it'll allow you to get a little bit further down the road but these bikes are big and heavy so they're, they're not the simplest bikes to uh to pedal home all electric bikes are harder to pedal home than a non-electric bike because they're heavier even like the van powers that thing's 36 pounds in comparison to this that's nothing it's a third uh, but it's it's still uh, more work to pedal home than a you know 18 pound bike all right we're still doing 24 i don't know what we're averaging and uh relive won't be accurate because we're gonna stop here and catch our breath maybe take a picture and uh continue on yeah i'm running into pockets of hot air and it feels phenomenal yeah the pockets of hot air feel good all right still not pedaling and we're coming up to this old uh framed home frame business something maybe it used to be a fruit stand or something but we'll take a picture here i always take a picture here and uh then we'll get back on the road here in a minute oh it's nice to have stopped a little bit get a little bit of nice weather All right, now we're gonna resume here. Resume. And now we're gonna ride back. Kind of see where we get to. So that's 6.9 miles away from the house. So we're going to nearly 6.9 back. What's that put us at? Uh, 7.714. And then we'll ride to the church and back. Oh my, I see something. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. Oh, we'll go up here. We got a good spot for that. Oh, let's stop here. Let's try to take a picture here. Uh, no, we'll go forward. Uh, Mount Hood, guys. I can see Mount Hood. She's looking pretty. And uh, not a bad day to see her. <clears throat> it's interesting. You can hear, like cars coming up on you oh yeah she's I gotta find a nice picture this way that's a nice picture oh right there It's nice that the uh, water's, uh, you can, it, it, it doesn't smell bad. It's not like a rotting uh, field smell, but you can feel, you can smell the evaporation of the, of the rains uh, coming out of the plant life. Yeah, it's pretty nice. It's 
pretty nice. Yeah, I'm trying to find a nice stopping point. Yeah, maybe this is it. That's that's pretty. I think if I go up there and I turn, let's try it. As I get on the turn road, I think there's a spot I can be. and don't shrink up. The unique thing about the mountain is, you know, when you're 75, 80 miles away from it, that's, that's what happens. Like right now, you can't even see it. But if I come here and turn, there it is. Let's see if we can take a picture of this. Uh, looks nice. Uh, let's see. We're going to Pause this. So I'm kind of in, uh, this is called Cornelius. It's a city right next to the city I live in. Uh, much more farming community. Yeah, so much more farming community than even where I live. So, let's talk a few things too. So if, you're, if your cruise control is locked on, which mine is just locked on, the way you get rid of cruise on my bike, because I don't have the, I don't have the cruise that you, uh, that you can turn off in the menus. Mine is a, a earlier generation on the software. So on my bike, what you have to do, you have to either pull the brake, either brake, or rotate your pedals forward. If you rotate your pedals backwards, like right now I'm rotating backwards, it doesn't change anything. Uh, the bike still uh, is on cruise control. Now if I pedaled forward, it would knock that cruise off. And now we're cruising about 22 and a half miles an hour. Uh, and we're gonna try to keep that. I know I got to come to a stop sign up here But we're gonna try to keep that all the way uh, Somewhere in that neighborhood all the way back to the uh, highway or the overpass and then turn back around and uh, Come back to the church And that'll probably be this ride uh, As much as this magic cycle will get because that'll be what 16 and 10 that's 26 yeah, I don't think it'll go over that. Uh, 92 pound bike with, with 255 pound person on it. And uh, these big old fat tires, yeah, that's probably all it's gonna do. Now, I'm gonna, I always tell you, I don't ride no hands, but I'm riding no hands. And uh, I keep my hands right close to it because I'm a chicken. I'm a big chicken, but I'm a chicken. <laughs> funny when you were older you didn't have to worry about or younger you didn't have to worry about that you just ride uh, no hands pedal like you know like you the man <laughs> not anymore or the woman right not anymore man yeah that stuff does not exist all right doing 24 and a half 26 a little faster I don't want to go that fast uh, 
while we're heading back I want to do somewhere around 22 23 so right about there that's better I haven't locked in a cruise yet So I'm about, I'm guessing 10 miles in, let's see. Nine and a half miles in, 9.1 miles in, and or 9.6 I think, something like that. And we're at 50% on the, on the um, battery indicator. Now I don't go by that battery indicator because it, it's not, a, it's not real accurate in terms of 100% uh, to zero and zero, uh, you know. So 50 will probably get me uh, as far as I've already gone and more. Uh, so, I, I mean, I don't know on the deer, but that's kind of what my thought is. Oh, those pockets of warmth are phenomenal. Just phenomenal. And uh, the temperature is getting better. It's not enough to really to necessarily take off this little quilted uh, pullover, but it's nice. And tomorrow, going to be nicer. Tomorrow, I'll probably, depending on how quick it warms up, uh, I'll probably just be in a t-shirt, hoping. Yeah, so that's the one thing in Oregon. Uh, you ride when the weather's better. Right now, it wasn't really good until uh, 1 o'clock. And at 1, it's not great. Like I said, it's 60, and it's going to be, you know, 68 maybe. Um, so from 1 o'clock to about 5 o'clock, maybe 6 today. Now, in the summer, you'll want to do your morning rides because that's when your temperature is going to be better. Um, so, yeah, that's just the way it is, guys. Now, I can't edit the uh, video to show you how pretty the mountain is here, but we're, it, we're, it's, we're looking straight into the mountain. You see that, uh, that, that bullet-looking thing, what they, that silo? It's sitting mostly to the left of the silo uh, in the background. Can't wait till all the fruits start to uh, ripen. It smells good when the fruits are ripe here. All right, don't know what this person's doing, but I'm kind of going around them. Okay, there we go. I should have looked in my rear view mirror because if there was a car behind me and he was doing what he was doing, I could have injured myself. Yeah, so uh, talk about my lawn a little bit here. So I have a True Green coming out to do my lawn. They came out yesterday and aerated it and overseeded it. And uh, yeah, the front lawn, as you guys have seen, uh, through winter is taking a beating. The rear, the back lawn's not as bad. And then my, my uh, what do you call it? My meadow, my field, uh, it's looking okay. But when you ride upon it, you see that the uh, that the uh, voles have just uh, made a home of it and has made a mess. So I'm currently working on the inside lawn, and then we will work on the outside lawn after that. Uh, I'm probably going to use the tractor this week to mow that. The gravely, my zero turn mows it all the time now. But I'm going to let the, the tractor mow it um, just because I have the bucket on it and I can flatten it out a little bit. Yeah. Yep. All the way there and all the way here, and these girls are already walked to here. So, yeah.
still at 50%. So, like I said, the battery uh, indicator is, uh, is, is not a great indicator of how much uh, further you can go. Now, I think the Ocelot Pro, when I did it last year, was like 23 miles. And Magicycle was a little surprised that it wasn't more, but you guys got to remember, I'm, I'm a lot of weight. And uh, if this thing here can get 23 or 24, even 22, um, with no pedaling, it'll do you just fine uh, by just pedaling some and you not weighing what I weigh. And I'm a big wind sail too. <laughs> so, so when the wind blows, I I'm just like a, I'm just like a, a Genoa on a, on a catamaran. I'm a big sail. So I'm sure I block the wind a little bit more than most people. Yeah, it's, this is a nice day. It's not the perfect day, but it's pretty nice. The hands aren't cold. I'm wearing just the regular biking gloves. Uh, legs aren't cold. A little bit cool, but nothing terrible at all. It's a nice ride. Uh, and it's really nice because I do have this quilted jacket on. Yeah, all these farmers, man, they got all their fields uh, prepped and ready to go and got their onions planted, their corn planted, their, uh, their um, horse hay and clover and all that good stuff all ready to go. You hardly see them do it too, man. They like do it in a day. And then whatever this stuff is, some kind of cabbage or, or uh, rhubarb or something, I don't know. Or big elephant ear plants. Yeah, I'm looking for a really good summer, man. Looking for some good rides. Yeah, so this, this big old fat tire bike is smooth. Uh, we haven't even talked about how I haven't noticed the rear end bounciness or anything. It's just a smooth ride. Um, I notice when I get on and off of it that it, it lifts and drops as I get on it. But I think with my weight, it, it really does an okay job. Does an okay job. All right, I think I'm down to 49%. It just made that. So, yeah, we're going to go back to the church, I think, and then turn around and come back towards the house. And that should be right at, it'll be under 23, unless I go right back to the house and then turn around and come back. Uh, and then we'll know. Then we will know it'll be uh, 23 or 24, I mean. So you're going, well, that, that big old truck is on this little road. What he's doing, he's going to pick up mulch. So they bring log trucks in that, that make mulch and make um, wood chips. And then they send these big 40, 50, 60 yard trucks in and they, they pick them up and take them to like, uh, like your local uh, mulch dealer. Like for us, it's called Best Buy Bark. Uh, so Best Buy Bark will have it. Uh, bought here and then they'll turn around and uh, sell it for retail and you say well is there a big markup or a big price difference yes there is a large price difference I can give you kind of an idea 
I'm not perfect on my numbers because it's been a while since I bought them. I bought them last year and the year before and the year before, and it's cheaper. <clears throat> I'm going to get around this guy. Significantly cheaper for me to get a, uh, a dump truck, a big dump truck. Now, I have, a, I have a trailer, too, now, but it's cheaper for me to get a dump truck uh, that hauls, you know, 15 yards of uh, dirt. I can hire the dump truck, have him come over here, pick up 15 yards each time, and he'll do three, three runs of it. So I can pick up 45 yards uh, cheaper uh, than I can buy 20 yards, 15 yards at the uh, retail dealer. And that's paying the truck. Now, since then, I bought another trailer, and now I own two trailers. My one trailer can hard haul 10 yards. Well, their minimum is 10 yards. I know. I think their minimum is five yards, um, but my trailer can haul about 10. So now I'll start buying them in 10 yards, and I think 10 yards is uh, around, depending on if you're getting dark or light, and, and whatever one you're getting, splinter or non-splinter, uh, you're looking at a roughly 110 to $135 for 10 yards. And uh, at the, at like Best Buy Bark, which is, you got the name, Best Buy, it's the best price in town, typically around here. You got other places like Woodco and, but around here, <clears throat> Best Buy Bark, you'd pay 35 or 40 dollars a yard. So a little more than you'd want to pay. Uh, certainly more than I'd want to pay. Now I'm going to turn around here as soon as this guy passes. And then we're going to... Now we're going to go back to the church. And that should put us around 20 something miles. The thing I don't want to do is I don't want to get to the church and turn around and have 10% left. Because then I'll have problems. Because then I'll have to <laughs> pedal back. Now the numbers I'm using just off the top of my head are from the display I'm looking at, not necessarily from uh, the Relive app. So I'm also noticing I have some film fog underneath my display and I'm wondering if that's due to um, being out in the barn. I'm going to check my other displays, and uh, that's going to be an issue, and the wife's going to have a problem, because I'm not going to leave them out in the barn uh, if that's going to be an issue. You guys like the smell of fur this is a place to be right here
I mean, I know the elevation, the topography of this is fairly flat. I know the topography uh, off to my right is fairly flat. So what I need to do is I need to measure that in terms of its elevations and that way we can get a, a maybe a slightly different ride with the same uh, topography for uh, knowing how far these bikes will go. On one charge. I'm going to come up here to the stop sign and I'm going to stop and I'm going to look down and see if my camera is still filming. Now I know on the Ocelot Pro um, when I rode it I remember it because it, it dumped out early. It dumped out at 14% left on the battery uh, which kind of surprised me and I think there's a setting you can go in and change that. I know there is uh, the lower battery setting. Um, this one I know didn't dump out it at, uh, when I, when I rode it before I didn't, uh, charge it up and I, I let it get below 14 and it was still going. So I think this one gets down to about 10 or maybe five and that's more acceptable for me. Yeah, so I have the front camera on, uh, the 3D or the, the all-around 360 camera, but it's not running because it's a lot more to edit when you do that. <laughs> Ask anybody that does it, you'll know the editing is a lot more. And because of the way it sits, the audio is like what I hear in my ears. Uh, I hear, all I hear is, is wind noise. And that's all that hears. So, what this camera has on it, my chest cam has a, uh, what they call a, uh, I don't know, a furry cat or a cat fur. Anyway, it's a wind blocker that blocks the sound of the wind. So that's why you hear me a lot better. Uh, and anyone that does this, that's why you hear us better than you would if I was just doing that. So when this one's running, I have to, uh, I just got to mute the, the volume because there's no usable uh, audio off of that. And then I have to sync it up exactly as best I can anyway to, to um, the, the ride and the audio from the chest cam. Sometimes it's not bad, but uh, with the software I have, uh, mine doesn't auto match up, so I have to do the work to match it up. And, and sometimes it's not 100% possible for me to do it. And then you'll see I'll, uh, I'll do a voiceover or something to talk about what I heard or what I remember hearing off of that cam, that, that audio. Yeah, I think this is surely gonna get uh, 23. So another thing I want to tell you is when, when I get 23 on it, you, you, you know, people will go, well, gosh, it's a 20 amp battery, 750 watt motor, blah, 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 52 volt uh, batteries, 20 amp. You should get more than that. Not necessarily. Uh, I'm large. I am not pedaling at all for these videos. So. I do it because I want you to get an understanding of the maximum distance you, or the minimum distance you should be able to go on this bike. Unless you're a 300 pounder and you outweigh me, then this is the minimum you should get. If you weigh 180 pounds or 170 pounds, you'll, you'll get more. Just from the physics of it, you'll get more. Yeah, so another thing I'm going to talk to you about is torque. Let's talk about torque. 
So torque, this, this bike here has 96 Newton meters of torque. That's one of the best rear hub motor torque values on a fat tire bike right now. Most are 85 Newton meters or 70 Newton meters or 65 or less or 35 or whatever. But you kind of go, well, what is that measuring? How does that really equate to anything that I know? What the heck is a Newton meter? What the heck is a Newton? And you can look it up on YouTube, of course, uh, or, or uh, Google and see what it is. But I'll give you my best understanding. A Newton meter is when you exert a, 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 a force one meter away and you can exert one Newton of force on that to get it to move, that's called a Newton meter. A Newton meter is equal to about 4.44 pounds. So, sort of, kind of pounds, foot pounds, that kind of thing. So, for most of the world, Newton meters makes a little more sense, I think, than most of us Americans. What a Newton meter to an American would be convert it to foot pounds. When you convert it to foot pounds, what you're getting is this bike is giving you about 427 foot pounds of force uh, at the wheel, at the hub. So what that's equal to is you take a, a torque wrench and that torque wrench is one foot long and that's kind of typical you can get a one foot long torque wrench and you start to apply a force and that torque wrench applies 427 pounds of force then you'll start to move the bike so that's kind of the reverse kind of of it right so this bike has that kind of torque which is a lot that's a lot in comparison to a lot of other bikes. At least that's what I read. And I kind of explained it to my wife and she's like, yeah, that kind of makes sense. She, I mean, cause she, you know, she's an engineer. How's it going? It is electric. It's electric. I'm not pedaling at all cause I'm doing a test. Oh, okay. I'm uh, testing this bike, how far it'll go non-pedaling. Uh, on a flat surface, kind of flat road kind of thing. Yeah. Normally I'd be pedaling. <laughs> yeah, I noticed you over there and you're gliding a long time. Yeah. Boy, does he glide well. Yeah. All right. So, so now we got 23% on the battery left. That will get me home as long as we don't stop at 15%. Um, and that should put us really close. Like right now we're at 18 miles, just a little over 18 miles. Uh, assuming this matches the, the Relive app. And uh, we will uh, go from there. I'll probably have to ride a little bit locally uh, closer because I don't want to run out, you know, five miles from the house. Yeah, so the guy, I don't, I don't know if I'll keep it in the video, but a guy stopped me. He was in a car and he's like, oh, that is electric bike. Uh, yeah, he goes, I was, I noticed you were, I was watching you. You were just cruising right along. I said, yeah, I'm doing a no pedal test kind of thing. Uh, normally I would pedal and I do. I normally at least ghost pedal, uh, but for this ride, we're not pedaling at all. Yeah, I really wonder. Uh, 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 I don't think that is pumpkins. It's too early to be pumpkins. I know he plants pumpkins there. I've seen those before, but yeah. 
Yeah, so look in the rear view. Look in the rear view again. And there we go. So the next ride will be on the Angway. I'll give you that straight up. The next ride is the Angway, and then the next ride after that, I'm not sure. Um, it'll probably be either the Troxus or the Hyoki, uh, or another one, but those are in the mix as well. I got uh, two Hyokis, and those are large battery bikes as well, and those will take, uh, those will consume some time to do. So we'll see uh, how that goes and when they go. I'd like to do those on like, like Friday's the best day, right? Friday and Saturday, the best two days. Uh, can't do it on Saturday with Laura home unless she's got other plans. She might have something she's doing. But, uh, if, and if she's getting her hair done, I'll do it. <clears throat> I don't think she's getting her hair done. So, uh, but I won't do it with her because it's too long of a ride. She'll get bored and uh, it won't happen. So, yeah, so I'm gonna talk about one other person. I usually, you know, chat a little bit about uh, my, my fellow uh, YouTubers. But I'm gonna chat about this young fella. <laughs> Southern e-biking. Uh, I watched his video the other day. It was his bloopers video. And uh, I really liked his intro and outro, but he went up to a snake. He lives in uh, North Carolina, I think. He went up to a snake, and the snake lurched at him. And, of course, I'm watching the video, and uh, shoot, I was not expecting that. I expected it to be dead or turn around, and it lurched at him scared the crap out of me i uh i was shocked and i was like oh man oh crap so i told him i said man that oh that scared me i don't like snakes i don't like spiders i don't like bugs that are big um little bugs you know bugs i know don't bother me but stuff like that no uh-uh i am not about that at all and i don't care what kind of snake it is uh, I'm not about it. I'm not about it. I'm not about little little mice. I got the voles in the backyard. You know, I have to uh, ex I have to exterminate them. I got to take care of them because yeah, I mean they create so much damage. But I ain't about to grab one or I'm not. You know, uh, uh no, no, no. Those kind of things scare me. All right, I'm gonna pull off here for a minute. And I'm going to check the camera again, make sure we're still doing okay. Yeah, so Southern e-biking scared me the other day. So I don't know if you guys, uh, if you guys uh, look him up, his name's Southern e-biking. His name is Blaine. <laughs> that guy scared me. Uh, if you want to go watch that video, subscribe to his channel. Tell him uh, you saw my channel and... You were interested in what scared Bruce, and you wanted to see it. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm going to stand up a little bit here. Uh, I've been sitting long enough. I'm getting a little tail numb. And uh, now we're back on it. Anyway, I know a lot of you uh, gave some condolences on my little junior boy. I appreciate that. Uh, I think of him every day. And uh, I think I'll continue to think of him every day for a while because he was my buddy. He was my little man. Anyway, I appreciate that. Uh, and and uh, you guys are the best. You guys are the best. So... Like I said, I, I, I also got a guy that I watch, uh, his name Chasbro. I watch his channel. He just got a new uh, drone and uh, told him, I said, I'll, I'll be riding my, my, my e-bike with a drone here soon, but I'm waiting for a specific bike. 
And uh, when that bike arrives, I will pull the drone out, or if the weather gets nice enough and stuff, or I'm going to spend a lot of time out here, uh, I will I will pull the drone out. We'll drone uh, while I ride, and I'm probably going to do it on this side over here because there's no uh, wires or anything like that, nothing for it to get caught up in. So I'll probably do that and then make a totem out of it, a totem pole, or what do they call it, a tripod, and have it uh, video me on tripod mode and maybe a little bit of follow me mode. Um, it's a Skydio 2 Plus. Uh, don't use it much. Uh, got it back in November when they had Black Friday sale and I uh, have only used it a couple of times. Anyway, uh, we will get that out a couple of times with the weather getting better. And, and it may never make a video as well. It, as well. Uh, because I will fly my drones uh, just to fly them in my yard um, without making videos on them. And I'll tell you why. One of the things is I live at 4.99, something like that. I live within 400 feet of being outside the five mile radius uh, of having to get um, a loft permission to the FAA permission to fly my drone I live 400 feet from that so if I go to the road where I come off my street and I fly my drone I just gotta fly it I don't have to get permission because I'm not in the that zone and uh, <laughs> so so typically So typically, if I fly in my yard now, I have to to get FAA permission, which it's easy enough. Uh, but you know, you open a window. Okay, I'm going to fly up to 200 feet for the next two hours, right? When all I have to do is walk across the street, and I don't have to get permission because I'm in a different zone, a different class uh, to fly. <laughs> and uh, so, it's a lot easier to do that than it is to fly in my yard. But like, like my drone can fly from my house to here with no problem. Both drones. I have two drones. Both drones. Well, I used to have three, but I sold one. Can fly this with no problem whatsoever. And uh, so, yeah, I'll, I'll fly that. And typically don't post stuff like that just because I'm trying to have a little bit of fun. All right, I'm at 13%, guys, and we are at 71, which I know is 22 miles, I think, 22 miles. According to that, I don't know what it is according to, uh, to Relive. Yeah, the temperature, this is not quite nice enough yet for a t-shirt only but this is a nice nice ride I'm considering riding another bike today and tomorrow so uh, we will see here <clears throat> I want to take some heat to this display and and try to heat out some of that fog So, yeah, yeah, so I'm five miles, well, you can see my house is right over here, so all I got to do is cross that street right here, and I'm flying uh, without having to get FAA permission. And then you got the, uh, the little model airplane port right there, but you got to be a member of that, and I don't know what it costs, I'm just not interested in being a member of that, because I don't fly enough. I guess if I flew it enough, like I ride bikes, I'd become a member. <laughs> all right, so we're going to punch it up here, give us all the energy we can while we uh, have it to get up this hill. It would have got up it anyway, but I don't want to pedal. 
and 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 ruin the little bit of uh we have <clears throat> to get our ride in and i don't know if it's going to cut off at 10 or 5 but i don't want it to cut off and me be far away from the house so now i think i'm going to have to ride it up and down the street locally all right it made that with no problem no problem whatsoever and i don't know how long my little drive is here but we will test it out too three point seven so let's see what it does on the whole thing if we can make it <clears throat> i'm gonna go the full route this time I'm doing like it was my neighbor, like I was like I was tracking my neighborhood. Yeah, my my grass is looking a little better than it was uh, last week, and uh, not perfect by any means, but it's improving. <clears throat> the backyard certainly looks better. All my neighbors have all these plantings. And I agree 100%, man, they look better. They look nice. But you look at in front of me. You know what that is? Someone has to weed that. Someone has to uh, trim all them bushes. And currently, I trim all my, I do all my yard work now, except for I do let True Green come in and green up my grass. And this is the first year. But I, uh, I'd rather not have all them bushes. So me and my wife, in, in our old house, we used to have trees and uh, all the gutter stuff you had to get out and stuff, the problems it caused on the roof. Uh, and I built my house new and it caused problems. So when we got this house, we're like, no trees close to the house, period. So that we're uh, not doing. We're not gonna do it. And so, and of course I've already killed a bunch of plants. So, <laughs> I just got to see, see uh, what we can do. If, if, I mean, we're just not good growers. You know, it's, it's legal here in Oregon to uh, grow pot. pot. And when, when it all became legal, everyone was like, oh, start, the, start growing pot, start growing pot, start da da da. And you, I'm like, no, no, and no. And uh, why would you do that when you don't have a green thumb? I don't have a green thumb. I have, it's at 10%. We're probably going to die now. But I don't have a green thumb, so I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it, guys. Because, <laughs> uh, see, I'm thinking I'm talking to the people that were talking to me about it. I'm talking to you guys like, no, I'm not doing it. Because I can't grow anything anyway. And I'm not, I know it's legal. That's just not my thing. It is not my thing. I'm not about that stuff, man. Looks like they're prepping to put the house in now over here because they got the flags up. So either someone bought the property and they're going to build. This is the property Jeff was looking at. And, they, and he offered him 1.4. And they said, no, we want 1.8. He's like, no, you're out of your mind. <laughs> So, yeah, my son was a, do, uh, a dollar late, uh, what, a, a something late and a dollar short. <laughs> All right, so my neighborhood is uh, 1.25 miles around. We started at seven. Well, yeah, a little more than 1.2 miles, 1.25 miles, a mile and a quarter. Rather than going all the way down at 5%, the wheel just turn here. There it is, done. 5%. All right, guys, we just completed the ride. It's uh, around 27 miles. We'll see what the Relive app shows. According to the bike, it's just over 27 miles. And uh, yeah. 
It was a nice ride. All right, guys, that's the video for the day. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, share, and subscribe below, and we'll see you on the next episode.